Lab-grown diamonds, they are their thing, but it's a little bit like taking a, a, a poster, buying a poster of the Mona Lisa and putting it up in an art gallery and telling people it's the real thing. It's not. A natural diamond is created over a billion years under the surface right. of the earth, whereas a lab grown is created in a, in a microwave in China in three weeks. You know, as a diamond expert who traveled the world with De Beers, calling a lab diamond something that's cooked up in a microwave, just explain it correctly, right? You wouldn't call a kid being born through IVF a kid who was cooked in a microwave, would you? No, you would be honest about the process, and the process is they are grown from the same material, so scientifically, they're 100% the same. I understand De Beers' take on this because they're afraid of what's happening to the diamond market, and what they introduced to the diamond market was a diamond that is now a lab diamond that's taken precedence. So all of their miners are now struggling because of them. They're the ones that brought this into the world, not us. And now we're the ones that are going to offer this alternative to our customers because there's value. They say there's no value in the future, but you could save up to $15,000 on a two carat diamond today. And don't worry about what's in your crystal ball, about what's going to be seen, but you have the choice. So whether you go natural or you go lab grown diamonds, be educated because scientifically material wise, they're 100% the same.